Good morning, friends. Good morning. How are you today? All right, we're going to get started here for circle time. So today is Tuesday, and it's still November. So let's talk about our November. Are you guys ready? November. November. Good job. Can you guys tell me how many syllables are in November? Three. Fantastic job, guys. All right, we're going to start counting until we get to our Tuesday and see what number we're on. You guys ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's right, it is a ten. So today is Tuesday, November 10th. All right, this is going to go ahead and go over our rules. Okay, don't forget our rules. Watch our lesson videos. Keep our listening ears on. Keep our supplies all together. Make sure to send us pictures of everything we create. And most importantly, have fun. Have you guys looked outside today? It's sunny again. It's sunny up there. But it's still cool out, so you gotta make sure when you go outside, you bundle up like our squad and his hoodie and his pants and his tennis shoes. All right, guys, we're gonna go over our word, color, shape, letter. You guys ready? This was a new one yesterday. Who remembers what our new shape is? A triangle. Good job, guys. Let's count the sides of a triangle. How many sides of a triangle do you think there are? There's one, two, three. There's three sides to a triangle. All right, who remembers our color? You know, it's kind of hard to see on here. It is orange. All right, we're going to practice our orange song again. Are you guys ready? Miss Smith, are you ready? I'm going to try this time, guys. All right. O R A N G E. O R A N G E. In orange is sweet and good to eat. O R A N G E. Good job, guys. Miss Smith, you did a good job. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go over. These are just a lot of review, guys. So. This is our current letter we were working on. Who remembers it? S. Good job. This is the letter review that we had before. A. Good job. And this one is our last one. S. Good job, guys. And we also have our new word. Our new word this week is we. Everyone spell we. W-E. We. All right, Miss Amanda has a person. Sam, sorry guys. She has a question for you this morning. And that would be, can pets have jobs? Do you think pets can have jobs? What do you think, Miss Amanda? I think some pets can have jobs. I think so too. I remembered I showed you guys a picture yesterday. I said you guys really, really enjoyed the police, the policeman, right? He showed you a picture of the police dog. So he has a job. You think other animals have jobs? Would you guys like to see some? Maybe Miss Amanda can explain to you a little bit about these animals we're going to show you. So here we have a dog who is uh, helping. This person here can't see, so he's helping this, this guy. It's called a seeing eye dog. The next one, this dog is help, helping this guy walk across the street. He might be deaf, I'm not sure. Sometimes dogs can help you like in, when they hear a noise because their owner can't hear them. The next one, this one's helping this guy in a wheelchair. Next 
because this that's one. a special doggy that works with veterans. And that's another seeing eye dog. I added him because I thought you guys would think he was cute. All right, and some of our animals from yesterday. Here's our police dog again. I'll show you him. It's our police dog. So some animals can't have dogs. We're gonna do our little quiz, but I'm gonna ask you, whenever you tell me what the animal is, I'm gonna ask, can it have a job, okay? So you remember this one is a rooster. Can it have a job? Doesn't have a technical job, but chickens give us eggs. So that's their job. Wake up. And wake you up. Yeah, the rooster, see over here. <laughs> cock a doodle doo <laughs> What about a cat? Does a cat have a job? No, not usually. He's kind of just cute, right? His job is making people happy. What about a bison? I don't think a bison has a job. I've never seen him be a crossing guard. Have you guys? <laughs> no. What about a goat? No, I don't think goats have jobs, but did you know that goats also make milk like cows? Speaking of cows, here's our cow. His job's making milk for everyone. What about a camel? Well, we don't have any camels around here, but he carries stuff. You see what he has on his back? He's carrying around some packages for people. What about a duck? No, I don't think ducks have jobs. Do they, Miss Sam? I don't think so. I didn't think so either. What about a turkey? <laughs> Well, right now, the only thing I can think of is our Thanksgiving dinner. And of course, our doggy has many jobs. All right, guys, real quick before we get into our next activity, um, there is a book on YouTube for you guys today. It is called I Wanna Iguana and Turkey Trouble. So if you guys get onto YouTube and listen to those, that would be fantastic. Okay, so for our last thing, we're going to play our rhyming words game again. I hope you guys remember. I'm going to read you a list of words. When we get to one that doesn't rhyme, you got to say stop. Okay, you guys ready? Pull, 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 cat, stop. That's right, it doesn't rhyme. Pull, soul. That's right, they're 
all animals. Great job, guys. All right, keep practicing those rhyming words. Those are very important. And we'll see you later. We've got lots of fun things planned for you guys.